I have coffee in my mug today, not tea. I know, I know. Mm. So today I am going to be filming part three of my houseplant tour, which is my kitchen. Um, all my plants are in a north facing window. Uh, so the lighting is going to be a bit funny again today. So what I might do is take the plants from where they are, hold them up in front of the camera, show you what they look like. Um, and then at the end, I'll do an overview so you can see where they all live. So let's get into it. So the first plant I want to show you is my fiddly fig. Now this guy I actually took as a, a cutting off a tree. So I had a really tall tree, it was just a single stem, it was quite tall and lanky so I snipped the top off in hopes it would branch out and I propagated the top and this is him now. So he is growing quite a bit. So when I first took the cutting he was probably up to maybe here. And yeah, he just sits uh, in my kitchen. And if you're wondering what this little thing is, this is a, a little hydra spike. So essentially you just fill it with water and because the bottom is porous, it allows the plant to draw moisture out of here um, when it gets thirsty. So that really helps because I know fiddle leaf figs are quite fussy with their watering. Um, so this way I know if he's thirsty, he can grab a drink and I just keep it um, topped up. My second plant is this little Hoya compactor or Hoya Hindu rope um, and I have it in this beautiful terracotta pot which I actually thrifted um, and when I first got him he was just a little nub so there's just those two big leaves there and it's grown all of this since and there's a little spider living in him so that's okay I don't mind the little spider maybe he can eat um, mealybugs if I ever get any so yeah my next plant on my windowsill is this little um, Kalankoi or I think they call it like a panda's paw succulent. Um, again in this awesome little thrifted mug and I actually thrifted this plant as well so this guy was 50 cents from the op shop um, and I just really liked the beautiful coloration on the ends of the leaves there and they're nice and furry and I haven't had any pest issues with this one so and it's got no drainage hole, so when the soil's dry, I just give it a water and it's loving life. My next little plant on my windowsill is this string of watermelons. Um, I actually got this one as a cutting, so it has grown quite a bit since I've had it. And <laughs> funny story, so the other day I had the um, door open. A bird came in and was smashing against the window, knocked all my plants off, pooped everywhere um, and it actually snapped like two of these long um, stalks off this guy so I was a little bit bummed by that but um, you know, whoops. What can you do when a bird thinks you live in a jungle hey? My little border just sits in there. Okay my next plant is this, I think it's a, a Rapsalis. Um, and I actually got this again as a cutting from one of my good friends Amy and it was literally just all this droopy part that you see here and all these tall stems have grown since I've had it. Um, definitely it needs a repot so the roots are coming through the bottom there but another super easy care plant and it's quite funky. I really like this one. My next little plant is this uh, variegated string of pearls I was quite disappointed when I got this. Um, it's probably maybe got half a dozen variegated pearls on it and all the rest have reverted. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Yeah. Here in New Zealand, the plant prices are a little bit crazy at the moment, um, especially for the harder to find plants. Um, and I was wanting a little Peperomia graviolens for so long. Um, and I finally managed to get my hands on one for a, a semi-reasonable price. Um, but I just love Peperomia. I've, I've got quite a collection of them. And I'm, <laughs> the next plant is this, I think they call this a Mickey Mouse cactus. Um, this plant is a real prick, like literally. Um, 
I find that I my skin gets quite irritated if I get the spines of this in my hands which when the bird came in and knocked this over I had to pick it up got spines all in my hands and now I have these random little um, like lumps where the spines got into my hands so that's fun um, but yeah this guy it looks cute but just word of warning if you ever touch it like a don't touch it and b wear some thick ass gloves because this ain't no fun and my last little plant on this um, north facing window is this cute little cactus um, again I think I got this from the thrift shop I got this little pot from the thrift shop um, the bird knocked this completely over if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen my insta stories about that story um, <laughs> and how many times I dropped this guy on the ground uh, it was it was not a fun time so there's that little guy and lastly I have this little Hawarthia Hawarthia um, now I actually had this guy in the north facing window but what I did notice is the little leaves um, started to grow really dark purple um, and it just wasn't really growing so I moved it to this off to the side um, of the window and now all the new growth is coming in like a lot larger and a lot more green so I think he's pretty happy and I actually found this guy this it, there was a little bush on the side of the road um, and I just took a little cutting and yeah he's growing so that's cool so that's all the plants on my windowsill um, now I will show you the plants that I have hanging up on a curtain rod um, so when we moved into this house it had a like a half height curtain um, so I took that rail put it up the top and now I've got plants hanging from it so I will show you those so the first hanging plant I have in my north facing window in my kitchen is this beautiful Hoya Shepherdii. Um, I was... Uh, <laughs> so, okay, I'm a Hoya collector as well. So I collect um, Peperomia, Hoya and Philodendrons. They seem to be my three favourite things to um, acquire. So I was pretty happy when I found this one. And I actually found this one... Um, so I live in Whangarei in New Zealand and about an hour away up north is a place called Kiri Kiri and they have two cool plant shops up there that actually have better plants up there than what we have down here in Whangarei City so I picked this guy up and it is so cool I really love the leaves um, it's put out so this stem here these are all new leaves and it's oh it's going right up the top it's got some spider web on it cobweb on it yeah, my house is old, okay? Ah, uh, yeah, so this guy is a really easy, easy care plant. Um, unfortunately, when I got it, it had mealy bugs, so it was in quarantine for quite a while, but um, no signs of them coming back, so that is a good thing. So my next plant is this beautiful, beautiful Marble Queen Pothos. Now, where I live, um, <clears throat> our house plant range it's not really the greatest, so I dedicated a day to travel two and a half hours down to Auckland City um, and I hit all the plant shops and I hit them hard and I found this beauty. Um, originally the lady said it was already sold to someone and I was really bummed because I was carrying it around. I was like, I'm so happy I found this beautiful plant. Um, and then another staff member came out and she said, oh actually that plant is available. Um, the person who wanted it no longer wants it, so you can have it if you want it. And I was like, yes, <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> so yeah, it is gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. Um, the only thing is, is when they pot them, they pot them in this really shitty, like, um, it's like a, oh, I don't even know. It's like a peat mossy type soil. Um, and what I found with pothos in my experience is they don't like too much water and this clotting mix holds water something chronic so I think in the springtime I am going to repot this baby but yeah isn't it beautiful my next plant is a silver satin pothos or skindapsis pictus uh, this, oh, I am in love with this plant. It is so 
beautiful and I've had this plant for a little while now um, and I have cut it back quite a few times so all these here that you see they're all new um, from where I've been cutting it and propagating it and actually the leaves if you can see like that leaf is getting quite big so that's exciting so yeah the leaves on these guys or this guy in particular are getting nice and large so I'm still happy about that so pretty I'm so obsessed <laughs> And my last hanging plant is one, again, is a plant you don't want to touch. Um, this is a donkey's tail or burrow's tail. I actually don't think this one is a burrow's tail. I think this is a donkey's tail. Um, I think the burrow's tail have um, like pointier leaf leaflets or whatever you call them. This plant is so dramatic. Like if you touch it, it will drop all 6,000 of its leaves, like... <sighs> so what I've done is I hang it up and I do not touch it. I just let it sit and be. But um, it's got heaps of new growth on the top. This strand here actually I snapped off on accident. Um, and I rooted it in water, planted it back in, so yeah. I love, tra uh, I love trailing plants. Trailing plants are hands down my most favourite plant, so... They just... <laughs> Attack of the pace, Lolo! Last plant is... This giant peace lily. Um, now everyone's a hater against peace lilies, but if you just want to pop a greenery that's easy to care for, peace lilies are great. Um, unfortunately I'm allergic to pollen, so I cut off any flowers they ever get. I have three peace lilies, so I have the variegated one in my bedroom, um, and in my living room I have um, a giant peace lily, so I can't quite remember the name of it, but it's a bigger leafed variety. Um, this guy is loving life. It's getting so huge. And unfortunately the toaster sits underneath where he is, so he does get burnt leaves from time to time, but I just I just cut them off because he's so big and beautiful, you know? Um, but in terms of easy care, these guys just top it off. They're just a piece of cake. <gasps> Okay, so that concludes my kitchen part three of my houseplant tour. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this little series. It's so much fun to film and talk about my plants because I love them. Um, yeah, so let me know down in the comment box below which your favorite plant in my kitchen was. Um, next time is going to be the lounge tour. That's gonna be a big one. You're gonna need a coffee or a cup of tea. You're gonna need some snacks. You're gonna need a snuggle down to watch that one because it's gonna be a long one. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.